Mullet. Morning, darling. Morning, darling. Alright, you guys eat quick here. Yeah? We can eat quick. Dad, are you the one taking us today? And do you have a problem with that? My darlings, mommy has to run along, okay? I'll see you after school, right? Don't be late, mommy. I won't, my love. Oh, miss you, baby. So, see you when I get back. Yeah. All right, my darling. See you later. Bye, mom. Divine, you eat quickly. If your sister finishes before you, I will leave you behind, okay? You wait in your car, okay? Dad? Yeah. Why is it that why is it that you and mom are always fighting? What do you mean? I saw you guys fighting over who would drop us off to school today. I thought you were sleeping. And I'm sorry you heard that. Look, sometimes we argue. Not a, no big deal. Yeah, this isn't a one-off thing though. You guys are always fighting. This is the starting line, and that's the end point. Whoever gets there first wins the race, okay? Yeah. Who do you think is going to win? Me. You think you're going to win, goodness? Right. Oh, hi, Monashi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Bye. Hi. Divine, I hope you're doing better in school now. Just come on. Hmm? Hey. Okay, so Praise's playtime is over. He will see you guys another time, okay? Okay. We have to go now. Bye bye. Bye. Crazy. Are you not happy to see me? Eh? Don't you want to play with me? Eh? Let's go, okay? Praise. It's time for us to play our own play. Would you like to play with me? I am talking to you! Would you like to play with me? Good. So take off your clothes and meet me in the room. Hmm? Praise! I said take off your clothes and meet me in the room. Now! Praise! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, so um, you said you wanted us to talk about something. Yes. And I presume it's about divine. Yeah, I'm afraid it is. Um, it's with regards to his studies. It's a bit lacking. I just finished marking the assessment. From the look of things, it's bad. Um, his sister will be moving up class, and if nothing is done, the van will be repeating. I'm sorry. 
Ah. Oh. Rita. Yes. You are their teacher. Of course. Okay, so uh, what do you suggest we do? Yes, Mimi. I've seen cases like this before, but the best solution is home teacher. A home teacher? Yes, Mimi. No, no, Rita. I mean, I, I, I do not like the stories I hear about home teachers. And there is no way I'm going to allow anybody mess up my children. <laughs> Mimi, no one is messing up your children. Listen, there are good teachers, loads of good teachers out there with good, you know, moral upbringing. So it's not something you should worry about. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I, I will talk to Raymond about this later on when he gets back. Yeah. And I will let you know what he says. But that would be on one condition, Rita. Which is? If you would take up the job. Of course, uh, Mimi, I would love to do that. Aside from divine education, it has a very bright outlook in other things. So, yeah, I would love to, you know, tutor him. Remember, he's my sister's godson. Yes. Um, okay, so, like I said, I go talk to Raymond about this and revenge. Good. That's okay. nice. <laughs> so, why don't you sit and let me just go get you something to drink. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Yes. Thank you. I'm trying to study. I can teach you later. No. I want to study alone. Come on, Divine. I can teach you later. Can you please come play with me? Just leave me alone. Divine. He screamed at me. What is going on, Divine? Why did you scream at your sister? I wanted to study by myself, but she wouldn't let me. I said I can teach him later. Divine, she don't have to scream at your sister like that, okay? All she wants is for both of you to play. Now say sorry to her. Go ahead. Sorry. Apology accepted, but on one condition, you have to play with me. Okay, Divine, go and play with your sister. Okay, go. Remember there is no other person to play with except you. So go, go ahead. Okay. Go on, Happy now, baby? Yeah. Good girl. Do you come on? Work today. Work was good. Um, babe, I was hoping we could talk about divine. What about it? <sighs> so. Rita was here earlier. Mm -hmm. And she said that Divine's grades are getting worse. Mm. Maybe we need to look deeper. I mean, we could find something, something there. What do you mean? I mean, I mean, every kid has his own talent. Maybe we need to find out what that talent is and support it. 
And if we find something special in him, what do we do? We support him and help him reach his full potential. Okay, and then what happens to his education? Maybe everybody is a book job, who's a you know. Um, even if I say I agree with you, I don't think we should stop his education. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to pull him out of school. Let's still go to school. Okay. Yeah, because Rita suggested that we get him a home tutor. You know, she cited that students or children have various ways of assimilation. There are people who assimilate things faster. Like goodness, the book one. Exactly. And there are others who need some, you know, extra teaching yeah. to, to get things. Yeah. Look, I think that's a good idea. It's a good suggestion. But I don't just want anybody to come and influence my son's mind. I mean, all in the name of blessing. I know, baby. I know. In fact, that was my worry from the start. Mm -hmm. But it's not a stranger that will be doing it. Yes, Rita will be doing it. Okay. I just hope her rates are reasonable. Um, forget about her rates, okay? You just tell me what you can afford and I will speak to her about you it. You are paid, right? <laughs> All right. It's such a day. And I like you so cool, do But aren't you the one who got it? <laughs> no, you just make sure you're aware and you remember. Of course I'm aware. I'm going for you. 18 carat. Thank you. 12 grand. It's not easy. <laughs> Okay, let me get my makeup off. Uh, oh, you should come to bed. Yeah, I'll take this off and have a good shower. <laughs> Where's my boy? Daddy. Praise my boy. Yeah. Mr. Tumor boy. Jeez, what have you been eating? Huh? You look like you added some weight. Welcome back, sir. How are you, Wolochi? I'm fine, sir. How was your trip, sir? My trip was fine. So, Preet, I brought some goodies for you. Yeah? Come on, let's go on. You're welcome, Preet. Yeah, boy. Yes, I'll you. I'll send the little print to your mail tonight. I'm already done, I just need to do some finishing touches and I'll send you a feeling tonight. Yes, sir. Um, sorry to disturb you that, but I really need help with this question, so I'm having a business conversation. I, I know, but it's really not your problem. I'm sorry about that. Um, yes. Like I said, I'll send it on feeling and then we'll move on to the next page. Yes, I'm like Yes, who is it? It's the van. Okay, come in, baby. Hi, Ma. Hi, my darling. I'm sorry to disturb you, but can you please help me understand this homework? It's too difficult for me. Oh, God, good goodness. Divine. Mommy is trying to get on with work. Okay, hey, listen. I promise I would come help you as soon as I'm done with this. Okay? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Who do you need that, please? Good night, chap. Good night, All right, off to bed. Whew. What is chasing you? I'm sorry, I'm staying in the 
Sir, I have come to take Prince to his room. You know, he has school tomorrow morning. Okay. I don't want to go with that. Why is that? I want to stay with you, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Malachi. You had the young man. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. All right. Good, Good night, night, sir. Good night, Prince. Have a pleasant night. Thank you, sir. Go to bed. Sleep, sleep, sleep top. We've got school tomorrow. Mom! What is it? You were supposed to help me with my homework. Mommy's sleeping. She will do that tomorrow. Monachi! Monachi! Please come. Monachi, what is wrong with Prince? Prince, is something wrong? Sir, I don't know what you mean. I mean, Prince has been acting weird. He seems scared. Scared? So I have not noticed anything like that. Okay. So, Prince has always been one to like to sleep alone. But last night, he didn't just cry, but also insist to sleep in my room. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, so you should know your son by now. Now He's very fond of you. And he misses you so much. You know you're always traveling. So whenever he sees you, he wants to spend time with you. He wants to be around his father. You know, that kind of love. I think that is all. I know, I know, but something seems off. Anyways, I'll, I'll talk to him when he comes back home. Okay. Any other thing, sir? Oh, that's all for now. Okay, sir. Grace, your father is going to ask you some questions. Are you listening to me? If you mention my name, eh, or our little game, you know what I say will happen to you, right? You remember very well. Good. Very good. Is anybody bullying you in school? No. Sir, so let me just take him inside so he can freshen up and then have his lunch. Okay, so yes. you go freshen up and uh, come out so we can eat and then we'll take a walk later. Alright? The deputy governor called me and he wants me to come and defend a project um, for one of his new hotels in Ipoden for the interior decoration. Hold on. Raymond, they just called you and you're leaving. Do they realize that you have a wife, a family? Babes, these are politicians. You don't care. They could throw you at the drop of a heart and expect you to be there. They're ready to give this contract to anybody else, and I need this contract. We need this contract for the family. Raymond, I, I'm, I know, I, I'm no longer finding this funny. I don't find this funny any longer. Ah, uh ah, -uh, this is beginning to happen every now and then. 
None of this was happening while we were dating. And you know it. I got it, I'll see you, okay? Kids, I'll see you later. I'll see you when I get back. All right. Oh. We don't understand you, Raymond. He just picks up his bike, leaves like he's some single guy in a relationship. He didn't discuss that with you? No, he didn't. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. I won't come forgive my manners. That's okay, I understand. Okay, so um, Raymond and I, we uh, decided that you become their home too. There? I thought it was just divine. Yes, um, we figured goodness would also need extra classes. I mean, you know, no amount of learning is too much. Well, that's true. So. How much are you going to pay me? Rita, mm -hmm. please. I don't have money to give you. Mm. I mean, you know how the economy is. It's not like you're not aware. I do, but you need to pay me something. Like you said, the economy is not, it's not favoring anyone. Oh, don't worry. Be rest assured that we will do you well. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my darling. You, that's all right. Okay, so um, what would you like to drink? I'm good. I'm good for now. If I need anything, I'll let you know. Of course, if you need anything, of course, you know. You know. <laughs> right. Do you understand? Yes, Auntie. No, Divine. You don't understand. Right. Let's take it this way. If you're in a conversation with your sister, goodness, what will you refer her as? My sister. <laughs> No. Your sister is not a pronoun. It is a proper noun. He and she are, are pronouns. Wow. Well done, goodness. Thank you. You are doing very well. So, um, Divine, I want you to go back to our last um, lessons, go through it, read it, and try as much as possible to retain it, okay? So next time we'll meet, you're going to tell me all about it. Is that okay? Yes. Good. Well done, goodness. Thank you. Hey, my boy. <coughs> Don't ever do that again. What is wrong with your face? Daddy, Grace! What is wrong with my son? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something from school. Grace! Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Professor, I just returned from Abuja. No, sir. Be on the next available flight. Praise! Praise! Sir, sir, don't worry. Let me, let me just try and, and talk to him. Let me, let me calm him down. Sorry. Praise! I'll get him out. Praise! A simple homework you can do. I really don't know what kind of child you are. You are just a waste of money. No. Your sister is not a pronoun. It is a proper noun. 
he and she are, are pronouns. We're going to sit down and talk about it, okay? Please don't go. Please don't go. Praise, I have to go. It's work. Don't take me with you. Listen, Praise, I can't take you with me, okay? Besides, Aunt Monachi is here to take care of you. Moreover, I'm not going to be staying so long. I'll be back before you know it. Hmm? Okay. Okay, I have to go now. My, my ride is here. Why don't you please take very good care of my son, okay? I will. Safe trip, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. <laughs> you like to play with me, right? You want to play with me? Answer me! Yes, I Good. Good. So go inside and take off your clothes and wait for me. Okay? Praise. I said go inside, take off your clothes and wait for me. I said go inside. Wait for me inside. been calling him and he's not been taking my calls. Is Raymond with another woman? Have you seen um Divine? I've been looking for him so we can play, but I can't find him. Goodness. Yeah. Is that the only thing you know how to do? Play? My friend, will you go inside and look for something to do? Read a book or, or go to sleep? Better still. I strongly believe there's something wrong with praise. Is there any problem at home? No, that I know of. There's no problem at home. Everything is fine. Sure? Yes. This is not the praise I know. I've been his teacher almost all his life. He's a different child. He's always absent minded. Praise cannot even answer the simplest question in class. This is not a child I know. Something is sure wrong. 
trace. Trace. Is anyone bullying you? Are you sure? Do you have any problem? Hmm? Praise. You know you can talk to me, right? You talk to me. Is there any problem? Look at it. Something is sure wrong. This is not the prison. Look at it. Trace hmm? used to be a noisemaker. He can't even talk to me. Something is sure wrong. Um, could it be that he's missing his mother? I don't think so because he never knew her. Please, you do something for me. You will observe him at home. While I do so here in school. Okay? Okay, ma. Something is sure wrong. This is not the child I know. The total different child. Never seen him like this. I will do as you have said. I will try my best to monitor him at home to know what could be the problem. Please do. There's a problem. Strongly believe there is a problem. I'm surprised. Huh? Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. All right. You believe in us. I appreciate it. Please yeah. take care of him. Please, let's go. Okay? Oh, stand up. Let's go. Praise. So, goodness, tell me, what is adjective our phrase? It's a phrase that contains an adjective. Yes. Actually, I think it's more than that. What? Actually, um, it's a phrase that acts as an adjective by describing a noun. Whoa. Well done, Divine. So please, can you give me examples? Well, goodness is taller than our classmates. Mm -hmm. So taller than our classmates is the adjectival phrase. That's it. Well done, Divine. Great job. This is great. Thank you. Um, so, in our next lesson, do you remember last time what, we, what I taught you? Yeah. Good. So, you're going to... Hi, Mom. How are you, Divine? Um, I think something is wrong with Praise. Praise? Our friend in the next apartment. Oh, Mr. Abel's son. Yeah. What is wrong with him? Well, recently he, he's been so quiet and he hardly even plays with us. I, 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 don't, I don't know what's happening with him. Hold on, Divine. Isn't Praise the same person who comes to this house to disturb you and your sister about going out to play? Uh, well, yeah, but... Okay, so what is wrong with him now? Look, I, I don't know. I don't know, and I would really appreciate it if you could please just go and ask his dad. Divine. 
he wants me to go and ask his dad what is wrong with his son. Yeah. Divine, I cannot do that. Yes, I know, I, I understand that you're concerned about Chris. But see, I cannot just walk into Mr. Abel's apartment, ask him what is wrong with his son. I mean, I must have a reason to do that. Mom, like, I'm, I'm telling you. Is someone at the door? Can you get the door? How are you? Oh, I'm really good. Did you get anything for me? Yeah, I got your stuff. What's your sister? Goodness! Goodness! That's it, he's here. Welcome. Welcome. What's wrong with you? Hey, kiddo. Kitty. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Missed me? Uh -huh. That's good. Why don't you guys take my luggage upstairs and then I'll come and unpack my goodies. Your goodies for you, okay? Oh, God, I'm so... Why weren't you answering my calls? Because I wasn't busy. You were busy. You were too busy to pick your wife's calls. Babes, you know how it is, how work is. I mean, I end up calling you back anyway. Hey, man, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? You tell me. Tell me, Raymond, because I do not know. You're the one who wakes up, packs up his box, and travels like he's a single guy without a relationship. That is because my presence is urgently needed, and I need to be there. I mean, listen, I don't want to miss out on any job opportunities. And that is why, that is why you would stay an entire day Raymond, a whole day without checking on your wife and your kids? Only because I've been busy the whole day. When I get back to my hotel room, it's already too late to call you guys. I mean, what is this anyway? Huh? Are you accusing me of having an affair or something? I haven't said that. Okay, but I will not be wrong to say something like that. Yes, because your actions speak volumes.
So, but uh, has he been doing any strenuous work recently? No, doctor. I do all the work in this house. He doesn't do anything. Really? Yes. What could be the reason for this weakness? Doctor, I don't know. Are you saying there is nothing wrong with him at all? Absolutely nothing. There is nothing wrong with him. Well, I think you just need a maximum rest. Just leave him and let him rest. You just need to follow me to the car and I'll give you some vitamins. You give to him when he's awake. Doctor, I can't possibly leave him alone by himself. No, those, those ones doesn't matter. The drugs, the injection I gave to him, he will sleep for the next six hours. So you don't need to worry about that. Follow me to the car. Let's see how... Um, I have an appointment, got a catch, and I'll be back in a couple of hours. Where's my son? His room. The doctor said he's tired. More like he's been overworking himself. How is that possible? Sir, I do not know. He has to be from school because I do all the work in this house. He doesn't do anything. Hello, madam. Are you in your office? I'll be on my way shortly. Monoji, I need you to stay here with him. All right, don't leave this house till I come back. Okay, sir. Punishments are not allowed here in this school. I remember seeing you at the PTA meeting the last time, and we all agreed. And that is why I'm surprised that my son is here. And the doctor diagnosed that he might have been subjected to some form of hard work. I have a capable house help, so I'm certain this hard work is in our home. And I assure you, it isn't here either. It's not here. What kind of work will a student be subjected to? Huh? It's not here. I mean, the teachers know better than that. That they will lose their job automatically if they do such a thing. So what is wrong with my son then? I don't know. But I've noticed significant changes in place in recent times. So I really, I really can't place it. What kind of changes? Praise. Praise is no longer the praise I used to know. Praise is always absent minded, abnormally quiet, he keeps to himself. Praise used to be the brightest, one of the brightest students I have here. Even before others at times, Praise has submitted his own work, his class work. Oh my dear, it is no longer the same praise. What I'm seeing here is not the praise I used to know. And you didn't deem it appropriate to 
Get, let me know. Miss Tyrell, when last did you come here? But that is why the school has the parents' contact. You call me. Yes, I know. No, I told your house help the last time they came here. I told her. Wait, you mean one of is aware of this? Yeah, she is. I told her. Monochi, what is your job in this house? To ensure Breeze is well taken care of, sir. And? To make sure he's doing well in school, sir. Good. Did his head teacher tell you anything about his lack of concentration in class? Yes, she did. And did you tell me? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I, I thought, I, I felt like there was no need to I thought I could help him. In fact, I'm helping him, sir. You felt there was no need to? Munachi, my very lively son is suddenly becoming dull and you feel there's no need to let me know? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just coming from Praise's school. And the head teacher insisted that neither Praise nor any of the students there is being subjected to any form of punishment or hard work. So how is my son suddenly becoming weak? Sir, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't I can't say. I don't know, sir. Which means you're not doing your job then. Sir, I'm doing my job. I take good care of Priz. I make sure he eats well. I make sure he does his assignments. I make sure he goes to school on time. I pick him up from school, sir. I do my job. I make sure he's happy. I'm trying my best. I don't know what is wrong with him, sir. Monochi, you recall last week that I asked you what was wrong with you. Preach. Well, the doctor and his head teacher confirmed it. I swear with my life, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know. Well, I'm going to let this fly. But if I find my son at risk of anything whatsoever, you'd lose your job here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Step aside. What? Just step aside, please. I know what, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm afraid I can't find any pharmacy. You've got another? No. Divine did it. How? I read on that. You did? Take back to her. He performed mouth to mouth on her. I'm surprised. I'm double surprised. That shows that he's been learning very well. Well done, Divine. Thank you. I must I'm proud of you. So I she now? It's all right. And how are you feeling? I'm all right, too. Oh, it is. So sorry for the commotion and all that. It's okay. He, she's can like part of me, <laughs> but anyways. Thank you, Rita.
to find New York. When did you return? Well, long enough to know that you've been sleeping for six hours. I feel tired. Yeah, the doctor said so. And that is why you will not be going anywhere for the rest of the week till you become strong. What about school? There's no school for you till next week. Hungry. Okay. I'll uh, I'll tell Monachi to make something for you to eat. Hmm? Hey, please make it by yourself. You want me to make it myself? Okay. Uh, what would you want to eat? Noodles. Noodles. Be back here with your noodles in 20 minutes, right? Noodles it is, job. Come. Yes, son. You're not traveling soon, right? I am, but not soon. Okay? I want to spend as much time as I can with you. Must you travel? Of course I have to. Daddy has to work, you know. You she can work here. The why is that he stays with them but he still works? Well, that's because Divine's daddy and your daddy do not do the same kind of work. But hey, I promise to spend as much time as I can with you, okay? Don't travel. I wish you were that easy, son. Come on, go to bed. Go to bed, child. Where's my daddy? He traveled. What? I said he traveled. Did you not hear me?
Yes, son. You're not traveling soon, right? I am, but not soon. Okay? I want to spend as much time as I can with you. has really, really improved. You can't believe it. The things that boy have learned, I don't think it's just from the extra lessons, you know, that I've been teaching them. You remember the other time he pulled a stunt about mouth to mouth two days ago? That boy is a genius, I will tell you. Mimi. Hmm? What's the problem? No problem, this is, it's no problem, Rita, okay? I'm fine. Listen, Mimi, I might not be your elder sister or your best friend, but you can always talk to me, okay? <sighs> Rita. Yes, please. It's about my husband. And what about him? Rita, I think he's cheating on me. Cheating, Ke? Yes. How? Uh, remember I told you about the unannounced journeys, right? Yes, you did. And we did agree that it has to do with the nature of his job. Rita, that is the same job he's been doing and he has never, ever made a trip without even a, a, a week or two weeks notice. Remember, as he grows, his responsibilities and demands increases. So you need to learn to, you know, accommodate him as well. Oh, so, so, so the late night calls, the chatting and smiling to himself, the, the, the changing of, of, of his password, the, 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 also the, the, the demands of the job. Come on, Rita. <sighs> now, this is serious. Yes. Yes, it is serious, Rita. Listen, I know my husband so well, but I can tell you for a fact that my husband has changed. Everything about him now is work, work, and more work. I can't even remember the last time he took all of us out. Right. So, Mimi, have you tried having conversation with your husband? Yeah, have you? I have, Rita. Over and over again, but nothing has changed. Huh. This is serious. This is serious. And Rita. Yes. And Rita, the head of the country is called president, right? Yes. Um, and the head of the state is uh -huh. called governor. That's correct. Then what is the local um, government it's called chairman oh. he or she is called chairman uh. I told you thank you you're welcome you see what, what I've been telling you divine what have you been telling me about divine he has improved massively isn't that why we're paying you, Rita? I know. But I don't think it has to do with the extra classes. Mm -hmm. He's been doing serious research on his own. I'll be honest with you. Okay, so... He is not done basketball. <laughs> no child is dull. Just that every child have different way of learning and understanding. Thank 
cheese with her. Goodness, calm, calm. Oh. Sorry, but I need to go and put praise first, okay? Just sit down and wait for me. He just went up to his room. What is wrong with him, baby? Because I saw him going to a priest's apartment. And he's not even playing with me. Priest's apartment. What did he go there to do? He went there so he can bring praise so he can play with us. Okay, and when he went to priest's apartment, did you know what happened there? I don't know. Me, I just want to play. Come here. Come. The wine? Oops. Divine, Divine, open the door, it's mommy. Divine, did anything happen at Prince's apartment? Did anybody hit you? Divine. Talk to mommy, you know you can tell me anything.
soon left. Um, I'm sorry, my son was at your apartment, right, just now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Um, did anything happen here? Anything? Anything like what, ma'am? I don't, I don't understand what you mean, sorry. Okay, you, you know, my daughter, goodness, um, told me that he came here to call praise to come join them to play. Okay, but I was just sitting in my living room and he, he just ran, dashed into the room, straight up to his bedroom. I went to his room, but I couldn't gain access because he locked the door from inside and kept knocking and knocking, but he wouldn't answer me. So, my son has never behaved like that before. That's why I'm wondering, did something really happen? Ma, nothing unusual happened, though. nothing that I know of. Yes, your son came here. He asked Praise to play with him. And Praise refused. He left. That was all. Nothing else. Hmm. Again, that is very unusual. Because Praise will never decline an offer to play with them. I know, I know. But the thing is, Praise is sick. He is very, very down. He has, he has not been going to school because of that. Oh my goodness, I hope it's nothing serious. That is it. The doctor is taking care of him, but... You know, we thank God he's improving. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, in that case, can I go in and see the child, no, no, you know? No, there's no need for that. I just gave him his medication, so um, he's sleeping right now. Maybe another time. Okay, um, maybe another time then. And I presume Mr. Abel is not around he as well. He traveled. Uh, always traveling. <laughs> well, of course, always traveling, yes, as sir. always. Okay, let me quickly get back. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you with all these <laughs> questions. It's just I was trying to find out what happened with my boy. Yeah. It's okay. All right. Take care, okay? All right, man. See what you've cost. Eh? I have been telling you, stop playing with these kids. Leave these kids alone. You wouldn't listen. Eh? Am I not enough for you? What do you mean you don't know? I'm enough for you. Eh? I'm all that you need. It's you and I against the world. Okay? I love you and I care for you. Hmm? Do you want anything? Yeah. Do you want to eat? Yeah. Do you want your favorite juice? Yeah. Oh, I know. You want to watch TV? Watch your TV, okay? I'm inside, okay? If you need anything, let me know. What is it? Huh? I'm sorry. No, please, 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 please. Just, just, just leave me alone, please. What's the problem? Hmm? Raymond, leave me alone now. What's wrong now? I'm tired. I want to sleep. No, you're not tired now. Huh? Raymond, I said leave me alone now. Look, praise. You have to tell your dad. If you inform me, Auntie needs you. She just left and she won't be coming back soon. So you have to tell her. She will kill me and throw my body. She won't. I will protect you. What can you do? Weren't you the one she was in your ear the other day? Listen to me, yeah? If you want whatever she's doing to you to stop, then you have to tell her. When's, when's he coming back? I don't know. Do you have his number? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I think I can help you. Don't worry, yeah.
Dad, yeah. can I borrow your phone, please? What for? I need to give it to Prey so that he can call his dad. Well, I'm using it. I'm sure his house help. You have a phone there. Just spoil from her. Mom, can I borrow your phone? No, no, Divine. You cannot spoil my phone. You know, a couple who don't communicate properly are always going to have problems. What? What did you just say? I said a couple who don't communicate properly are always going to have problems. What do you mean, Divine? And uh, who told you we're having problems? It's obvious. Even a blind man can see. Look, mum thinks that you're cheating on her. What? Yes. You're always traveling, you're constantly on your phone, and you're always answering these secret calls. Look, from now on, let mom have access to your phone and always call her whenever you travel. Mom, anytime you have a problem with dad, please just speak to him about it. Auntie Rita might be your friend, but she's not your husband. Anytime you have a problem with your husband, speak to him about it. Is he right? Do you think I'm cheating on you? Why would you think that? What kind of a question is that, my mother? No, tell me, how am I not supposed to think that? You have totally changed, Raymond. Can't you see it? You just jump and travel. You are not the ever-present man that I married. You're not. You're always on your phone. How about those secret calls that you keep making and then you're chatting, smiling to yourself? You even changed your phone password. Wait, that's because my PA had my password and I changed it. And that's for the cause. Babes, I'm building a house for us in Lekki. And I didn't want you to know. What? Yes, I wanted. I wanted to be your birthday. It was meant to be your birthday surprise. And as for the cause, it was to my contractor. How was I supposed to know? You should have told me. Yes. Listen, babes, I will never cheat with you. I'll never do anything to cheat with you. Um, can I borrow your phone now? What is so important? What is so important about this phone call, about my phone? So, when I went into Praise's apartment, I literally saw Monachi. She was on top of him. And then she tried to kill me and threw my body away. Boy, I was only scared. Come on. She threatened your son too, but, but he still spoke out. 
Well, I guess it's a problem solver. I'm so sorry, my boy. I promise I'll never leave you again, okay? And as for her, I'll make sure she spends the rest of her life behind bars. Officer, where are you? Okay, I'm coming. Uh -huh. The police officer is here. All right, let's stay there, okay? What's up? Dad, I go first place. You came first? Yeah. Wow, I'm proud of you. Put it here. <laughs> well done. Congratulations, very good. So what did I get you? Anything? A bike? You want a bike? Yeah. Done. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you? She came second. Uh -uh, Someone is good now. Exactly, you see? Uh -uh. Don't really call me a cop. Uh -uh. Why? You did well. Second. Damn. Oh my God, my second. <laughs> you listen, I know you always come first. But it's okay if you come second. Your brother came first this time, though. You come first next year, right? Fantastic. All right, go freshen up. Tell you what. What do you want? What do you want me to do? I want a bike. Want a bike? You want a bike? Yeah, bike. Two bikes it is. We'll get you a bike, okay? Why don't you go put your bag in your room and freshen up, okay? And well done. Second. Yay! First! <laughs> my boy! And my wife! Last! Your wife's first! Story! Too much love to report that! Thank you very much for looking out for my son. It's okay. I really appreciate it. So what's the update on the, for the police? Well, about that, the last time I spoke to the IPO handling the case, he told me the, uh, the case will be charged to court by Monday. That's good. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Again, thank you very much no. for taking care of my son. It's I really okay. appreciate it. It's all right. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Please. Let's go. I'm gonna go play as well. Yes, I'm gonna go play as well.